St. John. This is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal. Yes. This is of the utmost urgency. A soldier, an officer, has called Abel. Uh, an officer. A traitor of course kind. Two of us to let it stolen bike from the It's been spotted on the South Rim Drive. The stolen bike has a blue tank. Find him, Corporal. Yes, sir. I'll chase him down. Corporal, bring him back. Alive. Alive, sir. We're going to hang him, Corporal. An example for anyone who thinks they are above militia regulations. Who thinks they are above the laws of God. Uh, yes, sir. Dismiss, Corporal. Smell it. Ugh. Gotta be getting close. Not this. Burn it down. Oh, oh, my God. God. Headshot. Polly stuck. Here's some. some. Mm. 
No, not this way. Take a closer look. Let's take a look around. All right, what have we got? Back on 
try. This is it. Still got this. Bunch of murderers and vagrants. Just as soon shoot you as look at you. Okay. Oh, crap, somebody's tr Help! Hold on, hold on, I'm coming. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp that... Yeah, shit, camp? What camp? Show me! Where? Diamond Lake, there's a militia camp. You gotta ask for Captain Curry. Is it Connor? Thank you. Thank you, man. I, th I thought it was over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell him it was Deacon. They'll know. Okay, keep running. Stay out of sight. St. John to Whitaker. I, uh... Uh, Corporal St. John, yes. Matt. The Colonel is here. I was just telling him how helpful you've been. Corporal St. John? Yes. Lieutenant Whitaker has been singing your praises. Just doing my job, Colonel. Uh, sir? I'm glad. 
Lieutenant Whitaker's work is well behind schedule, perhaps with your help. Matt, I've told you. Look, biology, the work that I'm doing, is far more complicated than just building a bomb. Weaver is... Lieutenant Weaver is ahead of schedule. If you don't make similar progress, I'm going to have to pull resources from you. This ought to do it. I'll mark the rest on my map. Have Corey send some in. This ought to do it. I'll mark the rest on my map. Have Corey send some in. Here to get the rest. Doing my job, Colonel. Uh, sir? I'm glad. Lieutenant Whitaker's work is well behind schedule, perhaps with your help. Matt, I've told you. Look, biology, the work that I'm doing, is far more complicated than just building a bomb. Weaver is... Lieutenant Weaver is ahead of schedule. If you don't make similar progress, I'm going to have to pull resources from you and give them to him. Is that clear, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Carry on. Uh, is everything okay? It sounds a lot like... Sorry, I have to go.
Hey, huh? I, I got the shit you were asking for. Oh, good, good. Set it down over there. Let me get a piece. Okay. That's good. So how are things going with Lieutenant Whitaker? How do you mean? <laughs> I see you coming and going, man. You're doing a lot of runs for her. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I tried to hit that once, when I first got here. Is that right? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, that lady's got a fine ass. I'm an ass man. I can't help myself. Yeah, yeah. How'd that work out for you? Well, not too good. I mean, she threw me down on the ground, tried to break my goddamn arm. Listen up. You need to watch yourself with her. That lady's intense. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, you know anything else? Uh, no, but grab these and follow me. Ladies, got a fine ass. You see, polystyrene is an aromatic hydrocarbon, while gasoline is made up of simple aliphatic hydrocarbons. You try saying that. Anyway, mix the two together, all those molecular chains break up into single covalent bonds. Yeah, everybody knows that. Making the world safer, burning one dead freak at a time. Man, this sucks. Right? <laughs> yes! <sighs> that, my friend, is a napalm molotov. Uh, <laughs> and that is how we're gonna win this war. Once I fine-tune the formula, that shit's gonna burn hotter than an acetylene torch! <sighs> know how that is? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. I worked in an auto shop. Do you need anything else? Nah, man. I'm good. So goddamn close. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> gonna blow up and burn, son! Taking it to the ass! Hey, Corporal. How's life? Hey, Sarge. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> oh, big spender. Ho! And it goes for the upgrade. Nice. Well, yeah, makes sense. I'd do that if I had enough credits, you know? Yeah, okay. Let's see it, Corporal. Hey, you sleep with Corporal that Corporal St. So, man, right? I gotta tell you something. Okay? I knew you from before. Well, not personally, you know, but... I'm from Farewell. Same as you. And me and my friends, we used to watch you guys around town. The, the mongrels, I mean. Riding those hogs, wearing your leather. Corporal, see you, man.
to see you. I'll be at the Diamond Lake outpost. Copy that. I'll be there as soon as I can. everything. What the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it.
Colonel, I've got him. Alive. Transmitting coordinates now. Let's see what I can do. I'm sending a patrol now. Report back to me. Tear it out. Corporal, what's happening? Hey, Sarge. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Corporal St. John, you stay safe. Corporal. Yeah? Hey, Sarge. Okay. Corporal, see ya. Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm I'm sorry. It's this is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why? Why not? I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. Come on, soldier. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shit. Hey, I've done supply runs like anyone else. I gotta admit, it's been a while. Do you even have a bike? Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, ma'am. Stop with the... Hey, you, uh, you been inside the Ark yet? Uh, the cave's here, yeah. I got the grand tour when I arrived. From the Colonel himself. Come on, even you gotta give the man some credit. For the vision, it's stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. Oh, right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This'll get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. Come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the colonel, to save the last one. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you, uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean. Got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, I mean, how long did it take for the lava to cool and the soil to form, all these trees to grow? When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. Well, the Colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. Alright. 
What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just... <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. College East of here, off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take the South Bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a viricide. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. something? After that night in Farewell, what happened? I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we, were, we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because, because he lost his arm. But, uh, but he is alive. So glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but um, that night in farewell, my mongrel's ring. Do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. Here, I think this is it. been here before? Once. Before, you know, career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. God. What? Nothing. Just looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. You ready? Yeah. Uh, you got it? <clears throat> got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps, set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. Damn it. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. What's wrong? Well, I mean, I don't want to bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there, but you goddamn knew this. Come on, let's just go around. We're not getting through here. No, whoever was living here jammed the place up pretty good. How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look barricaded. Can you jimmy it? I think I can get this. Ah, there. Not so hard. Through here, looks clear. Coming. Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on, okay. Okay, ready? Push! Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Oh, shit. Back, 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 back. Yeah. All right, well, let me find another way. No, wait a second, wait a second. We can do this. Uh, if we both go out there, we're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through... Come on down. It's clear. You okay? God, Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. Uh, see if there's a hole in any of the walls. Place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. Anything? No. Hey, over here, there's an open window. Coming. You got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Ah, uh, Sarah? Hold on! I gotta find something I can throw down! Oh, shit! Deacon! Oh, shit, shit, shit! God damn it! Uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! back to school. Oh, yeah, well. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. You ready? Mm-hmm. Let's go. All right. Here, let me go first this time. 
Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Maybe one did. Come on. I think we can get through here. Nope. The door's jammed. Here. Mm -hmm. I got this. I got it. See? I told you. See? Like I said, I got this. Good job. Thanks. So, uh, how badly do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. I'm just asking. Wow, now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh. Uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building. It's over there. Just gotta get through these barriers. Hey! Another open window. Got it. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time you... Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it! Okay, hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, alright? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Sarah! 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 No! Damn it. No! Sarah! Sarah! Where are you? Come on, answer me! If anything's happened to you... Sarah! I'm gonna kill every one of you fucking bastards. Sarah! Answer me! There are so many of them. I just kept coming. 
It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's got to be a way in. You sure you're okay? Yeah. I've killed freaks before. Oh, I know, I know. It's just... Deacon, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's check this door. Can you open it? <clears throat> no, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. There has to be a way in. Well, I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we gotta check, right? I guess not. Won't open. Locked. It's okay, I'm sure Jammed like all the rest. Another way. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on for a second. Those are. Those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means. There's gotta be a way up from the roof. Come on. Come on, the roof's low over here. Yep, we just have to find a way up. Sarah, here, uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, push. Yeah, hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. I just really wish we didn't have to kill the little shits. What? What do you mean? Can you remind me of that little girl. The one that fucking stamped you. She didn't know what she was doing. None of them know what they're doing. What's not killing you? I know that. Look out! I got him! <laughs> Four of them! They're dead. That's the last of them. You enjoyed that? What, well, killing newts? No, but... I mean, you gotta admit, they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Here, give me your hand. Okay. <clears throat> Careful. Steady. I got this. All right. <clears throat> Careful. Oh, not only are they annoying, but they smell like shit. Yeah, well, you try to living like them. See how you smell after two years. No, thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere.
there's no uh, bullet holes, no sign of it. Violence or attack. Hemlock. Jesus. Over here. Is that the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. Okay. it's gonna get. Let's move. Okay. Yeah, got it. How more notes? It's out there. Come on, we can do this! How you doing on ammo? You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. We're up here, you can see the entire park. I watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this.
last of them. Okay, hold on. I'm coming to you. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare off those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. <clears throat> Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What uh, happened to you, Sarah? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. I can always use that. Come on, over here. Got it. Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. What's happening? Hey, Sarge. There you go. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. Every little bit helps, yeah? Ho! Oh, and it goes for the upgrade. Nice. Hey, Corporal, you stay out of trouble, you hear me? Uh, Corporal St. John. Hey, man. I saw you ride out with the Wizard Island Witch the other day. How'd that go? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker, Sergeant? Hey, Corporal. See you later. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock around. in the middle yeah, of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a doc to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the doc. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. <laughs> you know, me parece... It's... I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh. 
You're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal? Doc? Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, in Corpo no, St. No, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. Matt, I've been out in this shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. That's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You. <laughs> How do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in this ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms it just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering... Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Oh, well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean... Having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks getting pointless, I mean? No, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president, I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and pipes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? I'm, we're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. 
There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's giving us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <laughs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way! Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day? Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know? So, watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive and that... That's, that's when I really wanted to... That's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. That's, that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. We need your help to move that out of the way. What the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um... <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. 
This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I've seen worse, but yeah. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power is still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been 751 days since your last login. Please wait. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Ari's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Ari? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. All right. <laughs> what the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Go, oh, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here.
Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Airy? Why is Airy working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you and we're not here to stay! Oh god, let us in! Is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocol. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Oh, oh, Get down. Mother fuck you. were saying? Yeah. Oh, this world is stopping anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point out there. Alert. Oh, 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 If you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Her voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. It's clear. Coming. Alert. Alert. Nine one. Alert. 
Alert. This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. It's locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility Warning. is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. Stand down and you will not be locked. Alert. Snipers, Alert. Roof. This is a level yeah. one alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel in the maintenance building. Come on! Warning. Deadly force is authorized. There's more of them! Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Alert. Yeah. Get Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Clear in here. Nothing here. Alert! Alert! 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. It's clear! Same here. This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Okay, it's clear. They're waiting for us. I remember taking this photo. Warning. Deadly uh. force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Come on, Deadly let's try the door. Is authorized. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, Alert. your security Alert. clearance has been revoked. Has been Please see an IT administrator for assistance. And you will not be Fucking bitch! Hey, hey, going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. Alert. We need a better plan. Alert. This is a level four oh yeah, you alarm. got one? Multiple shots uh, well, maybe? Security uh, personnel like, to the maybe? Is there a way to that building. rooftop from here? Over here. There's a ledge out Warning. there. You should Deadly be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. For use against all I mean, you should be able to climb up Warning. from there. Deadly Listen, I don't want you authorized. to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. Alert. What's that? Has been called. The door's locked Police out, are remember? On their way. Stand down oh, and shit. You will not Come on, harm. come on, I have an idea. What? Alert! Alert! This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they Warning. forgot the admin Deadly codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. Alright, here's your ID code. Ready? Deadly uh, yeah? Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? 
Yeah, let's go. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Alert. Alert. This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have Here. been fired. Here. I'm going to need you to help Security me out. Security personnel to okay, the hold on. this building. <sighs> Ready? Warning. Yep. Deadly <clears throat> you got it. For <clears throat> all yeah. Warning. Wait until Deadly I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. You kidding me? These days, that's all I do. Okay, go. Alert! Alert! Nine one one has been called. Police are on their way. <laughs> Stand down, and you will not be harmed. Jim, I know you're in there. Answer me, goddammit! Beacon Lee, St. John. ID five four two nine zero zero nine. Good tell your men to stand down. Welcome to Clover Day Research Facility. Jimmy, this is your first like login. This. Please disable voice response. Come on, Jimmy. Jimmy, get her. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy
told you. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I, I don't understand. Your I should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David he... Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit. And that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I classified don't know. project, just slow he wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit, and I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He, he must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my god. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. Have stopped it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on for a second. What's up? Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay.
Vase. That does it. Burn, you little bastards. No, I just gotta jimmy that door. Not now, not now! That did it. Loser, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, Dee? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay? And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I gotta go, Ricky. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielson Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and... 
that I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. It's clear. Are hey, you gonna come out and eat something? Soaking wet. Excuse me. <clears throat> I never thought I'd get warm again. St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Go. Go. 
Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore. What's happening? Hey, Corporal. Hey, man. Hey, Sarge. Okay. Uh, you need it. We got it. So, uh... Corporal, see you, man. Hey, Corporal. How's life? Hey, Sarge. got all day. Well, I do, but still, come on. I see you, Corporal. Hey, you sleep with that gun, am I right? Come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey. Oh, I can take that. Several patrols have already been sent out. Curry's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. That was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see what they want. Radio me if you do. Copy that, St. John Abbott. Colonel, reporting in. trial. Then, uh, right. Anyway, just reporting in, St. John. Raider camp. Bunch of mean sons of bitches, aren't you? How many ambushes you said this week, huh? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Before this shit went down, you talked about global conspiracy. Most would have laughed you out of the room. No one 
everyone's laughing now. We know this went worldwide. We saw it in India. I gotta clean South it. America. A bunch of murderers. What we did is I can't let any of them is escape. The Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys? An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to let's do this. Foster cooperation. Unquote. <laughs> yeah, they fostered something. You know they picked the places that got hit first. But someone betrayed America. Don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Could be. The UN is out there running just fine without us. And one of our former friends has a seat on the Security Council. Think about it. Nero's got a clear hand in this. But they need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Who knows, Cope, maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking up inside Cloverdale in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack. Get more ammo. Is that it? Is that all you got? Yeah, that's what I thought. Next time you set up an ambush, don't pick on the wrong guy. Whew. Well, we look like the type to have an underground bunker. Yeah? It's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I uh, thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no. Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... Just sort of checking in, see how you know how everything's going. Good, good, Deke. Things are going good. You will never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. 
guess he figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay, yeah, like I said, I just, I just want to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. Yeah, you too. You can. Can make something out of this. There it is. Down the hatch. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Many of you probably don't remember the Cold War, but living through it was a special kind of hell. Every time you heard a plane flying overhead, you'd think for sure that this is it. That's the one coming to drop the big one on us. And we lived through the Red Scare. A man didn't know if his neighbor was an American who bled red, white, and... safe in dark times was to go underground. We built my first bunker with him. But we couldn't build it out in the backyard with a neighbor spying. Had to go out into the woods, a ways from the road, where no one would happen upon it. With a bunker, you knew that if the country went to hell in a handbasket, you could open that manhole cover, climb down the ladder, and you'd be safe. With your radio and your horn food and ammo. Things haven't changed. Better to dig a bunker than an early grave. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, Cope, how'd that work out for the poor bastards who owned the one that I just cleared out? Not so good, I'm guessing. Since they were all dead long before I ever got...
Bounties. <laughs> Taylor. Huh. Dickens say John. How are we doing, Taylor? That fucked up, man. They didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Please. Don't let them hang me. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdose. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir.
Hey, Corporal. How's life? Sergeant. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> Credit burning a hole in your man purse, or what? Cheap and buying a new one, right? Come on, am I right? Huh? Ah, oh, okay. Let's see you, Corporal. Hey, you sleep with that gun, am I right? Hey, Corporal. Hey, man. Hey, Sarge. Okay. Hey, Corporal. See you later. Corporal? Hey, I'm uh, new around here. Name's Deacon St. John. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ella Salazar. Just call me Sal. So, uh, this is where I bring bounty ears? Corporal, you take care now. I was riding with two men. Ah, corpus. Man in the out. Deacon, are you there? Deacon and Sarah need to talk to you. Yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound cheerful. I had a breakthrough. All I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow. Okay. Uh, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Corporal. Deacon. Good. Thank you for reporting in so quickly. It sounded urgent, sir. It is. We have another hostage situation. Hostage? Damn, it seems like every squatter within a dozen miles has it in for us, or for the militia. You know, I mean... It does seem that way. I've marked his last known position on your map. He's just a kid, St. John. Private Ross. Ethan. I sent him to track down a group of marauders, and he must have gotten in over his head. Private Ross. I don't know him, but, uh, I'll get him out alive, Captain. Good luck, St. John. Dismissed. Hang on. I'll open the gate.
camp. These are the assholes who've been ambushing the roads around here. <laughs> I gotta burn them out. I gotta make it safer to ride. Infestation zone. Sure smells like it. Oh, gotta burn it down. I gotta clear them out. Don't worry, fellas. I'll be back later. Finish burning you out. Jesus, how a camp they got going on here. We should have called Captain Skinner. Shame to waste all that food. You don't know shit.
lot of goddamn runners. Oh, Jesus. Got you. Bushes. <laughs> hey, Ethan. I presume, uh, yeah? How are you doing, Corporal? Buddy? Man, am I glad to see you. Yeah? You didn't want to join up with those assholes? Hell no. And I had no idea what they were going to do to me. Yeah, well, it wasn't going to be good. Uh, are you good to get out of here on your own? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. Did finish burning out this nesting zone. There's another nest. Yeah, let's burn it up. John Captain Coory. Uh, it's done, sir. The kid is on his way back. Good work, St. John. You mean a huge part of what makes us successful. The shoots county militia did not be the same without you. Thank you, sir. Um, I will radio in later and make sure he made it. St. John out. I'll be there as soon as I can.
Duke and St. John to Captain Curry. Uh, how's that kid doing? Good. A little dehydrated and hungry. The cook tells me he's almost cleaned out the mess hall single-handed. Well, tell him to save some for me. St. John up. It doesn't look too bad. That'll hold. Hey, Corporal. How's life? Corporal St. John. Hey, Sarge. Air job coming right up. Corporal, see you, man. Oh, Corporal, what's happening? Hey, Sarge. Credit burning a hole in your man purse or what? Well, yeah, it makes sense. I'd do that if I had enough credits, you know? Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> Corporal St. John, you stay safe, yeah? Why are we burning all this crap? <clears throat> Isn't the world screwed up enough as it is? That is adding. Wait, hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I'm so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a nude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of newts. Oh, my God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. You're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Hurry out. <laughs> Shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sarah, I'm here. All right. Looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. 
I told Matt the site was hands off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. Okay, uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know, just, just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. You little shit! Oh, Jesus! Fucking Jesus Christ! Uh, hey, Captain. Uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Well, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker. Just doing my job, sir. You know, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh no, no, it can't have any of that, sir. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. <sighs> Come on, help me! Come on! Come on! <sighs> so much for the tranquilizer. Yeah, well, while the biologist kind of fucked right now, what do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Oh, hold on, just a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> What you put in that? That shit went down fast. God damn it! But you're, you're you're not 
making a bioweapon, you're... Oh my god, are you, are you... are you trying to cure it? I thought that once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. Save them. Nothing's going to be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once, and she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought and we won. And what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost. And Boozer, Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you, fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find her, we're gonna ride away, we're never gonna look back. Because I don't wanna be part of some militia. I don't wanna fight no war, and I don't wanna live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are. Trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, not doing a very good job. So you get up. You dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. You would do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we're riding north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah? Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh. Bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you're talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. 
Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. All right. I figured that I think you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... Right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow them to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. Shit goes south. You ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. 